Okay, we arrived at the last step and this would be the posters, how to display posters. And we will build two different variations of that. Let me actually increase this. So we will build um, a poster room that looks like this and a poster room that looks like that. I'll show you in a bit what that means. So, um, by the way, if you get an error like this where you have a weird display of the areas, it's probably because your browser is too small. So if you just drag it out a little, um, you should see it normally. Or if your computer is so small, then you can click Command minus and it will decrease the size of the elements. So if I click Command zero, I have the normal, um, just the normal view size and the normal zoom. And usually I have this on, on zoom here because then you can just see it better but obviously this was a little too much. Okay, so let's continue here. Let's continue with posters. So poster session, adding another floor and adding another room. Every poster will get their room and the usual way of doing that is you give um, the room name is the poster presenter name and sometimes uh, people are giving them numbers. So you say room number one is a presenter name. And then you have the project name below, and then you can have the university name in the details. This is how it usually is set up. And that's it. No logo for this room. We will um, input the poster in a different way. Okay, perfect. Now the presenter room is done. Let's enter some elements. Well, first of all, what's our poster? So we have, well, I've downloaded some poster template here. This is how it looks like. And now we have to have two things of each poster. We have to have the PDF and we have to have an image for the preview. Um, let's first upload the PDF and then show you how to make a preview happen. Okay, so the PDF, we already know, we take the website element, go to the file uploader and upload the PDF. Okay, there you go, uploading. You get a link back, the link you put in here, you can choose the one line block, type in view poster, and there you have a button that goes to the poster. Now this button will not be enough to show a preview. It's just a button. I'll show you how it looks like. I can close this. Poster session, it's just a button that says view poster and you can view the poster. But in order to show a preview, and this is just a little annoying, I know, but uh, you still have to do that um, if you want to have a preview. I screenshot the poster here. At least that's the way I do it. And then I have a screenshot of that poster. And now I can pick the image element and put it, oh, just a second, I should scroll to the right here. I take the image element and put it above the website element here in the poster room. Now I can drag and drop. This is the image, this is not the PDF. Uh, choose the full width image and hit save. Now we have an image above the poster and here we are we have the poster and we have the image and again this weird thing is only happening on safari we're working on on fixing that the, the fact that it's stretched usually it would be a little smaller um, on other browsers okay so i have a preview i can view the poster the only thing that's missing is a video call and we already know how to do that. Let's go all the way to the right, drag and drop the video call down below, choose listing large, hit save, and you're done. Okay, now you have created a poster room and you can use this as a template to add more. So if you want to add more, you can just copy the entire room and then edit this out, say number two, and uh, change the image, change uh, the PDF, 
the video call stays the same and this is basically how you'd go through each and every poster. Again, we're working on um, improving that. Uh, just give me a second, why doesn't it copy? Oh, it does copy, I just didn't, didn't get it. Okay, let me see. Perfect, number two. Okay, let's save. And here's the result. We have post number one, number two, and number three. Now, why does it look so huge? It's because I have the zoom on. If I just go to the standard view, this is how it actually should look like. So it's a little smaller and I can make it even smaller, but the standard view is like this. Now, what we've built here is actually version two. We have the poster, the actually, we have the video below the view poster element. So it, it looks like that. This is what we've built. And the upside is, okay, I can see the poster, it's rather big. But the downside is I have to scroll a lot. So you might want to um, try this variant and so that it's not confusing actually. Let me just fix this and say this is variant one and this is variant number two. Because we have just built variant number one and let's call this variant one. Okay, how would we create a poster session with variant two? Very simple. I'm just copying this entire element, dragging it over here, because we already have the most important elements. We just have to tweak it a little bit. First of all, the image element should be half width, so it's only half the size. Safe. And then the website element should not be the one line block anymore, but the details block. It's a smaller block. And because both of them are half width, this one and this one, they will be next to each other. And the video call can just stay as it is. And I will already put in a second one here and a third one underneath. I seem to have issues with copying this. Okay, and then I publish and view. Variant 2. And you can see the difference to variant 1. Variant 1 is just a bit bigger, variant 2 is smaller here, but the function is basically the same as you can see. And you can choose whichever one you like. I prefer this one because um, you don't have to scroll much and actually nobody can really see any information here. The preview is really just to provide some sort of guidance and color. Um, so I would prefer variant number two for the poster name. And this is just how you go through and you create posters. And uh, recommendation, maximum 10 posters per floor. You can, if you have more posters than that, you can just add another floor and say this is poster floor number two and then you have your posters um, sort of uh, distributed throughout multiple floors. And I think that's it. That's, that's all um, I have. I hope this was helpful. Now you have a full poster session with a lobby, with an information um, floor, lecture hall, meet the speakers and a poster session, either in variant one or variant two. Okay, good luck with the poster session. Maybe I can add another video with just some tips and tricks, especially concerning bigger events. Uh, I'll do that now. And yeah, good luck.